Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy and I am going to talk about the books that I read this week, which aren't very many, but kind of floppy. <laughs> it's um not a great week except for one, which is Gold Star, which is funny that I didn't read as many books as I planned to this week when I even went on a reading retreat. However, I overestimated how much time I get to read in a day, especially going and seeing the Barbie movie and spending time with my friend. The next reading retreat that I do, I'm gonna want to have more time. So we had it on a Friday night, like a full Saturday, and then Sunday morning. We actually ended up leaving Sunday, I think at 11. So it was really just like a one day retreat. And all my friends came from like all over. So it's people I hadn't seen in a while and we had a great time. So, I mean, it was really kind of one of those like cathartic weekends. I did get most of uh, the, what was it? Romancing Mr. Bridgerton by uh, Julia Quinn Dunn. And that book was okay. It was good. Like I'm still going back on it. I think I gave it three and a half stars. I don't like the way that Julia Quinn writes romances, if that makes sense. Like once they like get together, I just, I don't like the way that she does it. It feels very not consenty to me. And like I read The Viscount Who Loved Me and that one just left me really uncomfortable. I hate like forced marriage. I'm not into the force like you have to get married, you have to consummate, you have to, like, I'm just not into that. And I understand that they're trying to be real to the time periods, but I love the show because it feels like women have far more agency. Even when they don't, it's like showcasing how strong the women are. And I don't feel like the books do that. I feel like the books are very, I don't know, it's not, they're not my thing and that's okay. They're somebody else's, I don't wanna yuck anybody's yum, but I don't think I'll be picking up any more of the Bridgerton series. I read two, I gave them a shot and that's okay. I have never been a historical romance lover. I really don't wanna talk about this next book. It's called Tim Foyle, Foyle Butterfly by Rachel Eve Moulton. Um, it's set in South Dakota and the word South Dakota cold and South Dakota winter were said a lot. The Black Hills themselves were said a lot, but it never really describes South Dakota. I could have been in any place. And as a South Dakotan who's been to all these places that were talked about in the book, I'm like, that's not descriptive, but okay. Like, I don't really know what exactly happened in this book. I mean, I know what happened, but I'm just kind of like, what was the point of any of that? I saw a couple years ago, Books and La La read this. And while I know that she didn't really suggest it to anybody, cause she's like, it's really weird. And I loved it. I'm like, mm mm. And so I'm glad she loved it because I thought it was pointless. At least like, that's really harsh. It was not a book for me. Is that better? I don't know. That's kind of how I felt about it though. And that's okay, because I it was a quick read. It it was three hours, four hours of my life that I, you know, have given away to other things that are probably not any better. So there was that. And then the last book I read this week, and oh, oh, okay. It's called The Collected Regrets of Clover by Mickey Brammer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um so this book was very unique to me. Clover herself is a death doula. I had never heard of a death doula before, but they exist. Death doulas do what maternity doulas do for pregnant women, women support and offer them their emotional support for people who are going through death. And it hit on some really hard topics, but in such a beautiful way and the story and the characters, Clover herself is such an interesting character. You start the book and she has like no friends. She's never had a real relationship before. She's, she's 
the people she's close to are the people who are dying. And she's got these books of regrets and books of like words of wisdom from the people that she has helped go on to whatever comes after this life. And it was so good, you know, to look at like death in this way, because it's not something that we, we as humans talk about often. And it, when you do talk about it, you're morbid, you know, so this was a very, very poignant and beautiful book. And I cannot say enough about it. I think that where I'm at right now, I'm going through a phase where I books that make me think critically. My brain kind of has been shut off for a while. And it was really great to just have fun because books are entertaining and I'm really entertained by story. I want, I want the stories to touch me. I also want the stories to make me think and grow as a human. So I'm kind of what I'm moving on to is I've discovered uh, through lovely people in YouTube, the Booker Award. And I'm currently working on a vlog where I'm gonna read multiple Booker Award winners or nominees. And I started with The Trees by Percival Everett, and that was a 2022 nominee. And I am currently reading it. I'm about 50% through, and it is, it, it's dark. It is very dark. And it's dealing with um, racial issues and lynching and the South and the deep seatedness that's there. And it's, it's one of those things where it's making me think there are some really good hard hitting lines. And so I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the, the dip in to the waters of what books are considered Booker. I kind of, I went with a nominee first one because it was suggested for me due to the witty dialogue and I love the dialogue. So I have to let my friend know that the dialogue is is what is definitely working for me. However, it's one of those that I'm like, okay, dip my toe in with a nominee to see what they're kind of looking for when it comes to Booker Awards. And then I've asked a bunch of my friends and uh, book lovers what their favorite Booker Award winners are. So I'm very excited to delve into that a little bit more. I'm not sure what books I'm kind of going to read. I have a have a, a little bit of a TBR, but I don't want to like, I don't want to commit to it because what happens is I'll read a book and, or start a book and not enjoy it at all. And then I'll put it down. So I'm kind of want to just kind of feel it out before I commit to a TBR. And so I'm really excited about this vlog. I am holding myself accountable to a vlog. I want it out mid August. So I'm actually planning and that is something that I'm not really great. I'm kind of a pantser even when it comes to my videos. If you couldn't tell, I'm not great with schedules. So I really am hoping that doing vlogs will keep me on kind of a schedule as I go back into working in the fall. I'll keep up with at least one video a week. That's my goal. Most of the summer I've been able to hit two, two videos a week, but we'll see. So I'm reading that. And then I'm also reading, I'm reading an arc of a romance and I cannot remember what it's called, but I'm really enjoying it. It's kind of a cute one. I like the representation. That, and so I'm really enjoying seeing that aspect of the book. I'm enjoying that one too. The, uh, the banter hasn't been up to like snuff of what I like. <sighs> anyway, that is where I'm at right now. Um, if you have any good Booker or Booker recommendations, please let me know down in the comments. Like this video, help me out, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.